Uh, hello everyone. Um, so this is part two, you know, of showing you Birkama. If you have not watched part one, please go back to our videos and watch out, you know, uh, watch part one and then you can proceed with part two. So here we are proceeding just from where we stopped in part one, you know, to show you more of, you know, Birkama. So we are still walking towards the Birkama garage, you know, where we will be showing you you know the activities in the Birkama garage, what they do there, uh, some of the things that are sold there. So these are all different kinds of shops. They do photocopying. They have a bit of a chance. Um, they for IT classes there. On the other end, they also sell different kinds of products, second-hand products. And over there. You have, you know, um, a metal workshop. They also produce different kinds. I think I'll try to get get closer. Okay. So this is one of the gates that they have made. So in case you're interested in things like this, you can contact them and this is their contact number. You know, over there they also sell furniture. Sorry. Yeah, naga. Yeah, that one gonna want to be like for niti when they're interested. So here they also have different kinds of furniture as you can see. They are also along the Birkama Highway, you know, just next to the Atlas. In case you need any furniture, you can come and contact them. So these are very nice furnitures actually. You see the bed is a very nice one. Right? Okay, so and there we go. Anyway. So you now also have the Atlas petrol station over there. Sate pa. You know, if you have not been to Brikama, try and visit this place. It's a very nice place. And the thing is, you can get, um, um, let's say, your, some of the things that you would need, you know, to cook. Or, you know, foodstuffs. You can get foodstuffs at a very cheaper price here in Brikama. You know, just like in Sandika, that is in Serekunda. So likewise, here in Brikama, you can get foodstuffs at a very cheap price. So if you get to the market, you know, you'll definitely get that. So sometimes, let's say, if you want to buy in bulk um, and you need something at a cheap price, uh, if you can't make it to Sandika in Sarakunda, you know, then come to the Birkama market and you'll surely get it here. So as you can see, Birkama is a very busy place and over there they're selling um, used clothes second hand clothes you also have you have lots of business you know going towards the Birkama uh, garage so as you can see there's another gate that is being sold another you know uh, metal workshop so we're getting closer to the garage but not there yet Also another metal workshop, also selling gates. But the thing is, they do not sell only gates. They can, they usually make you know different kind of things. So in case you need it, you just have to contact them. You know, make your order, and then they will supply based on what you need. There's a fashion shop over there. That's also a fashion shop, mobile shop. There you have a bit of a chance. Uh, some of you who know La Parisian, here they also have another branch. It's a restaurant, one of the famous restaurants here in the Gambia. Farad. 
So here they sell these rods. Okay. Below the stands over there, there you have the farmer's corner where they sell agricultural products. So you see there are lots of business. There's a construction that is going on. And here, you know, these will all be shops that people will rent. So lots of businesses here in Birkama. Over there they also sell uh, gates, you have furniture behind. Um, this I think is used for drilling a borehole. I'm not sure, but that's what I think. Yeah. Here they also make furniture, different kinds. So at this point, this is the way that will get me to the Birkama garage. Of course, I can use this way and eventually get to the Birkama garage. But then this is the way that you use when going towards Soma, uh, when going towards Faraba, you know, and so on. So you would use this way to get to the Birkama garage. From there, you can proceed towards, um, uh, what's it called again, towards Jalamba, you know, and so on. So this is the way that we'll be using. And over here, you have the Jar Oil Petrol Station. Okay, this is the Jar Oil Petrol Station. Uh, here they sell used clothes. So this area is usually very busy, uh, you know, because it's the main junction. You know, people coming from the summer end and so on. So it's this place is usually very busy, as you can see. You have taxis parked over there. Someone selling fruits, different kinds of businesses around this area. So over there they sell. Um, different kind of wood, you know, when doing your construction. Um, if you need it for your ceiling, that's where you can get it. So. Actually, we have some here. We have some here, so if you need wood, this is where you can get it from. So over there you have Inko. They sell different tools, you know, electrical tools and different kinds of tools. And there is a supermarket over there. So, so we are almost at the garage. So that's Unitrade Company Limited. Uh, they sell products both, both in wholesale and retail. And that's a fashion shop over there. Over there they sell bags, you know, different kinds of bags. I'm not sure what that place is, but I can see some cars parked inside. Yeah, this is the Gambia, you know, for everyone to see, you know, that it's a very peaceful country, a very nice country with people who are very hospitable, you know, who are very welcoming to everyone. So if you visit the Gambia, 
you know, Birkama would be a nice place to visit. As you can see, it is very busy, just like in Banjul uh, and Sarakunda. So among the, in fact, the three major places that people usually will go to get different, you know, um, materials, food stocks, you know, and different kinds of materials. Um, the major ones, you know, would be in in, um, in Banjul, Serekunda, or here in Birkama. That's why we call it the satay bar. Okay. Yeah, so you will notice that up to this point, since I started, we just have businesses along along the road, different kinds of businesses. Right. So I think this video is also long enough, you know. Um, so join me, join me as I get to the garage. Uh, but I will stop it here, and then we will have part three. You know of Burkama. Alright, and this Gab Entrepreneur, thank you all very much.